my mother used to always say to me growing up, if you have nothing good to say, say nothing at all. And that has always stuck in my mind. Because just like Peter the Apostle, I was always sticking my foot in my mouth, I'd no filter. I'd just say whatever came in my mind and not care about the consequences of it. But as time has gone on with my walk with the Lord, the Lord has made me to start thinking more instead of speaking without thinking. And instead of ripping one another down, why don't we not build one another up in the body of Christ? We're one in the body of Christ. Satan has deceived many people to denominations, skin color, nationality, wealth, poor, middle class, rich, mega rich, you know? And uh, it's all a lie of Satan. Satan is a liar, deceiver, and murderer since the beginning. Christ warned us what he was, what he is. And, you know, we're living in the final hours on this earth, and we need to be encouraging each other and praying for one another, you know. And um, sometimes it's not easy to love some people. Sometimes it's not easy to love at all but it's Christ in us that makes us love one another he is who binds us and knits us all together as one body in Christ Jesus it's all Jesus it's nothing to do with us it's all him but we are brothers and sisters in Christ in the Lord, we are one family in the Lord, we are of one blood, we are all created in the image of God, so when we tear someone apart, we're doing it to our creator, because we're created in the image of him, and I just pray that this message just resonates in some people's ears that are struggling with loving people. We all have, if we're honest, we've all struggled with loving one another. We all have. We're involved in a serious spiritual battle here on this earth. And these flesh suits we carry around every day, we're at war against the spirit. And the spirit's at war against the flesh. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. Satan and his demons are the ones causing all of this. 